got him. Got him. That's double got got. Hello, hello. Got me right there. I don't know what did I listen to last night. Oh, you know, this is what I watched last night. I watched Top Gun. This is really weird. This is gonna this is gonna completely throw people off. But I, I watched Top Gun for the first time last night. I've never seen Top Gun. That's, yeah, so, that's what's the song that they sing to her in the Take my breath away. No, not that one, not that one. <laughs> the one when they sing to her at the bar. Oh, at the bar? Oh, They're all really singing at the bar? Oh yeah. You don't remember what that is? Okay, we'll look it up. Anyways, the, the song that he sings at the bar is classic, and all the all the you know top fighter pilots uh, go got, and sing. I got the. Uh, is it hot? Is it hot summer nights? No. no. It's not hot summer nights. Through the fire. He's got it as well. Oh, great balls of fire. No. <laughs> no, I don't know if that's no. That's not my intro. So. You've lost your love and feeling. This is uh, right. yeah, exactly. You've lost your love and feeling because he's so. Oh, I don't know why. It just it's a good Top Gun moment, and I wanted to bring it to this. So. This is still Brandon Flowers. Here we go. Well, you know, any any Brandon Flowers song to be introduced to is okay by me. I, you know, I'm, I usually do, um, I'm not usually, but I, I've been doing more English my breakfast jar, tea. My jar's a little bigger. <laughs> you need more coffee than me. See, it takes a very small amount for me to get hyped. Yeah. Uh, I just, like I said, I used, remember, when we were filming, I used to drink coffee throughout the day, at least I did. Um, yeah. Now I have my jar of coffee in the morning, and then I'm done. You're set. Day. See, I like, the, I like the art of refilling and, and making it again, something about it, so... I'll do a small thing of English breakfast tea. Um, you would. Or I'll do a couple of coffees. I know. It's, uh, I that have goes a along with it. English breakfast tea. With, the, with my, my, my girlfriend, I got me like much more into drinking English tea. So. Yes. Yes. Quiet. Yes. Quiet. Yeah, yeah. So, hey, tell me, I want to know how, how this whole thing has been treating you. What's something that you feel like uh, you're missing out on right now? You know, I know that you've got your family with you and stuff, but what's one thing that this this quarantine is taking away that you're kind of like, man, I wish this uh, wasn't happening? I've been trying my best to not have those things because they, they've already come up just because uh -huh. I, I get pretty antsy and I like I like to constant movement and to keep my brain creative. And I'm, I'm really like I thrive off of human connection and, and contact and so i've been missing out to see my friends we still have the zoom calls and all that because that's been difficult um but one thing that i did to kind of help help with that whole thing was i right whenever la started getting kind of weird i went straight to see my family in vegas and so i'm around at least a, a little group of of you know my my favorites and um i don't know it's hard you know you take it kind of a, a day at a time and prepare for um, kind of the long haul for this. And like I said, I think connecting over the internet has been pretty fun. Zoom and house party and those kind of things have been, have been nice to catch up on. And, and um, songwriting was one of the things that I didn't want to get kind of, you know, shifted out of my life. And so I've been making a, um, an effort to work with my friends and producers um, while I'm writing music. So. Yeah, so uh, you don't want to get rusty over this time. That's oh, rusty and also yeah it's important it is, th this time brings a lot of kind of um a lot of thinking and a, and, a, and a lot of thoughts and a lot of ideas and you don't want to kind of have them go to waste and go nowhere so yeah well i was making some cool stuff last night i tell you what i was making um because you know i'm making for those of you well i'm making a splice sample pack um and it's going to be super dope 
but I was making some random samples last night, and I came up with some cool stuff, which I'm going to send you. Okay. So you can hear it. Um, so we do this a lot. You'll sometimes send me. You'll sometimes send me songs or something that you're working on, and then I'll throw some melodies out, and then we'll go kind of back mm -hmm. and forth, and we'll work sometimes that way. Um, we still, Look, we so still like to work I've together, about, still listen to each other's music. This is what I've learned about the difference between you and I, right? So okay. I'll, I'll go with me first. I tend to overshare. I yeah. overshare, like when I make something, I want everybody to hear it. I want feedback. Uh, I'm, I'm not mysterious at all. I'm the opposite of mysterious. You, you um, what you see is what you get. I, that, I love that. You, on the other hand, it's like I, you know, like I had to wait a long time to hear some Logan Henderson cuts when you first got started. Very, very um, secretive um, amongst your music, like about your, the things you're working on. Right. Um, very tight lipped about it. So it's funny that we make a good that we're good friends because we're so opposite in that way. I think it. I think it helps the dynamic, really. I think that. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's I mean, really two, helps two the dynamic. Two tight-lipped people. Two tight -lip people would never talk to each other. That's true. That's true. <laughs> you, you guys would be sitting at a table like you'd be sitting at a table like this. Logan's always like, Kendall, shut up. Kendall's like, no, I'm, but you know, even with the music, it's not so much that I don't want to release. It's like sometimes it's I'm I'm very thoughtful, so I do I definitely do a lot of thinking. Although sometimes it looks like there's nothing going on up there. Uh, <laughs> uh, I am, I'm very thoughtful and methodical with kind of the way that I like to um, approach music and, and conversation. And also, I like to listen a lot. I notice that I do. I'm usually my best whenever I don't speak so much and I listen more. I've come yeah. to find that out. It took years, years to find that out. But uh, yeah. Well, anyway, hey, so before uh, there's a couple things I want to do before I let you go. Number one, if anyone's okay. watching and have a question for the two of us. Send that in the questions thing, but I want to. Do yeah, this is right good. Now. I've done a few of these, and I, we they always miss out on the questions of like that's the whole reason why we're here. So I, I like to hear yeah. from everybody else and see how everybody else is doing. So before we do that, we'll let people type their questions. Before we do that, I, I have something I got. I have called uh, a series of um, Kendall with his arm around Logan. It's, uh, it's okay. <laughs> so here it is. Someone made that. Yeah. Okay. So here it is. It'll pop up on my on my screen. Here's the first one. Oh, there we go. I, Wait, yeah, it's not it so fully in view, but. Uh, oh, this isn't gonna work at all, man. No, I mean we see a little bit. We know what's going on. Wait. Uh, I mean, I think that's kind of that's what happens whenever you're in a band. With yeah, but you There's see lots how of arm grabbing, lots of. I always, you know, I'm always wrapping around. My dude, Logan. Here. There we go. That one works. That's a good picture. Yeah. I don't know what the hell I'm wearing. <laughs> we look stunned. We just look like <laughs> we're supposed to be here. I don't know. I might. I might have been. Um. And this is this one. You can't <laughs> see it. This is a picture of just four crotches across. Yeah. The exactly. The big time crotch. Um, that's so not a bad. That's not a. That's not a bad. Um. Not a bad angle. Basically, so. this photo is. We're all doing a pose, but for some reason, you and I are doing the exact same pose. That's what that photo is. Well, I'm, it was the wrong decision, whatever it was. Yeah. Well, I thought in my in my mind that series worked out a lot better than it actually did, but um, you know, can't win them all. No, it's good. You know, I feel like that that'll that'll be us. We'll be like clear into our 80s, still having the pictures around each other. You'll, you know. Well, You'll you shrink, know, obviously, so you might be around the same height as me at that point. Yeah, that's possible. Um, so I'm looking through the questions right now. Okay, well, here's one. I don't know, you know, but if you if you can think of anything. Was there an awkward moment between you two while on set or during the scene in BTR, and what was it? Oh, man, I don't know. They all you know, run a lot. to get so frequent awkward, hard awkward moments probably ones that we tried to impose upon other people maybe making them feel awkward we're really good at that remember that thing that you and me and caitlin always used to do like you you be in pictures and we have like this little this little oh, thing outside of the well if i'd be in a photo you would uh, 
Caitlin and I would take a picture together and you'd be in the back looking like you secretly wanted to be Caitlin's the boyfriend. Person in the, yeah, yeah, be in the picture and be that person. And I'd just be like right behind, just, you know, just creeping. <laughs> just no, creeping. I'm not sure how awkward that was. We have some of those pictures, I feel like. They're somewhere. Oh, yeah. Around. Look, I, I got to look back like an old hard drive or something and find Caitlin and I. I joined her live yesterday and um, she had some great photos that I didn't have. I know. I, I, I'll have to see where all those went. Here's a good one right here. Okay. Actually tastes good. Uh, those, some of those were actual smoothies. Um, and we, some we was had, yogurt. Yeah, some of it was yogurt, so some of it wasn't great. But like, we actually got smoothies and stuff from our Crafty, which our Crafty, they worked so hard. We, we were like pretty demanding to have four lead actors and then have to feed them you know, what they want and get special things for dietary restrictions and all that. So our crafty was really cool. And so they always made us good food and good drinks. And, uh, yeah, some of those were good. And then some of them were like straight up, just like pink mush. Yeah. The ones that lived the best on camera probably tasted the worst though. Oh yeah. The pink, the pink yogurt looked really good, but it tasted Tasted really bad. Not so good. Um, Looking for a couple more, and then I'll let you go. That's all right. I'm here. All right. Best. Uh... Oh, wait. Best memory you guys have together. There's so many. There's so, <laughs> there's so many good Sorry, memories. Um, I, that's really hard. I think... I don't know. There's been so many good memories. It's hard to place one memory outside of the other. We've done some really cool things. Um, you know what I'm trying to recollect is like a moment where it was like you and I sitting somewhere and and one of us going like... This is a cool moment? Yeah, I'm trying I think to think one of those... For me, Dallas, those State, that, Dallas Stadium was like that. I think um, singing for Obama, singing for the first family was, was pretty special. Yeah. Um, those shows and in, in, um, we've had a few and you know where we've, we haven't been able to travel outside of the U.S. We went to Brazil for the first time. Those kind of shows were so massive, and I think those are always moments that you are able to take a, a small step back and really appreciate kind of where you are and where you come from. I want to say one moment that I always remember was it was you and me walking out from the pilot episode after we had filmed. The show wasn't really picked up or anything, but we had got done filming. Are we, you know, on our way to film and, you know, being two, two kids I'm from Texas, you're from Kansas and, and not having any work experience really. And, you know, juggling different bands and, and, you know, trying to just get into the whole scene and, and, and do what you love. And, and, you know, and, and this whole craft, which is, can be very up and down sometimes. I remember going, you think this is going to go? Like, do you think this is going to be a good project for us to be on? Do you think we're going to have a good time? And then, do you think it'll be picked up? And I, and I think you, you were like, yeah, this is, I think it's going to be pretty special. And I was like, yeah. all right, I'm ready. I'm ready for something good to happen. And, and then it, and then it was. You're going to yeah. make me cry, man. It was on the Paramount lot. It was a really special moment. It was good. That's nice. Well, I, that's Which, what I was... Plenty of uh, more good times, is what I say. You know what they say, when there's plenty of good times, you got to let it rhyme. What? You got to let it ride. Got to let it ride, rhyme? All right. Yeah, let it ride. I've never heard, uh, I don't think I've ever heard anybody say that. When, but there's, that's... Plenty, when there's plenty of good times, you got to let it ride. That's what I always say. Okay, yeah. Well, to more good times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you were, this is the last, we'll do this last one. If you were the protagonist of an important movie, what would the plot be about? What are these questions? You guys are really like, my brain is just now starting to work. I like it. Just, I've always wanted to play um, some type of uh, weird character. You know, I, I don't know about a protagonist or whatever, but I've always liked um, characters with like certain tics and certain things that they do, like something that outside of what it would be normal for me or for you, but certain tics and certain things that you really have to kind of like watch someone and i've always wanted to base a character off of someone that i see and like somebody maybe that i know or something something that i can pull from so i, I would love to play um 
I'd like to play just kind of an, an, a weird oddball character. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, I, Leonardo DiCaprio does this a lot. But he, a lot yeah, of the he's amazing. He play a lot of them. They always have like a lot of weird quirks about them, and I, I kind of like that. He's like uh, this way of the future. With the future. With the future. Ten chocolate chip cookies, medium sized chips, none too many around the outside. <laughs> One of my favorite films, Aviator. Um, I would to, to answer that question. I've always wanted to do something from a different time period. Ugh. Be nice. Like. Like, not quite, like, caveman time period. I'm talking, like, 1600s to 1800s. Oh, wow. Way, way back. Well, so I guess 1600s to, well, 1600s to, like, 1950. Yeah. Because cool. I would do something based in the 50s. I would love to do something in, like, the roaring 20s, like that type of time period. Would be really that would be cool. cool. You know, we have a friend that we work out with, the fantastic uh, Holt, who is on Mindhunter. And that that's still technically a period piece, which would, yeah. that was, would be a really cool thing to film. If anybody watches Mindhunter, it's fantastic. You guys should watch and pray for a third season. Right, yeah, I would uh, imagine that there's some people who are like, I was alive then. Uh, so yeah. I don't really feel like it's a period piece. <laughs> yeah. I, well... Still technically a period piece. Yeah, they have all the cars, all the elements are different, but it's it's that's such a great film. So something like that would be really cool. Well, buddy old pal, buddy old pal, I really appreciate you joining me. And um, obviously, in for a haircut soon. Yeah, I'm just gonna buzz mine off. There you go. Maybe I'm I will too. Yeah, um, but I hope you have a wonderful day. And, and too, also man. To catch up with you. a great weekend. I know. What are you doing over the weekend? What do you have in store? Yeah. We're going to make food every meal. That's good. Yeah. Always important to have food for the meals. That's about it. You know what they say? Cool. No, I don't. When you're trying to make... when you, Wait. You know what they say when you're trying to eat food? Better have it on your plates. You know, whenever it's Easter, you gotta have a feaster. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll leave you with that stupid yeah. ass comment. That was okay. So dumb. Love you. Lo- uh, love to everybody. Um, you know who's who's been checking in on this. Uh, so good to catch up. And um, I'll see you whenever all this mess is over. I'll see you when I see you. Alrighty. Bye, bud. Love you guys. Adios. Love you.